I'm Dr David Weber. I'm a teaching fellow in the Politics and International Studies Department at Warwick and I'm going to be talking about the impact of, of the EU referendum results upon football. So let's look at the arguments for and against. The first point would be the free movement of labour which uh, football in this country relies very heavily upon across all divisions but particularly the Premier League uh, as well. Uh, in the event of Brexit uh, the number of the players coming from the European Union uh, would change. One of the arguments uh, for Brexit would be that it would give more homegrown players the chance to flourish uh, and the chance to state their claim on the international stage. A number of people would argue that actually one of the reasons for England's failures, indeed the home nation's failures on the international stage is that there's not enough talent coming through. Uh, and Brexit would actually um, encourage clubs to invest in the academies and really nurture that uh, homegrown talent. Brexit actually wouldn't have any bearing upon um, the home nation's relationship with UEFA uh, and British clubs would still compete uh, in European club competitions. However, the cost to supporters of travelling abroad um, would increase uh, and they wouldn't be afforded the same sort of protections, health, security and so forth uh, that they currently enjoy. So while Brexit might well encourage clubs to invest more in young British players, uh, it would have a knock-on effect in terms of the transfer fees that those self-same players could then command uh, later on. And it would be the fans really who would end up footing the bill for that. There is the argument that Brexit might actually increase the uh, financial inequality already seen uh, with its particularly English football. So while the biggest and the wealthiest clubs right at the top of the Premier League will continue to be able to afford uh, those uh, top, top players within Europe, those further down the league pyramid will uh, struggle to attract those players who would be unable to fulfil uh, the work permit uh, criteria that's likely to be imposed in the event of Brexit. Whatever the outcome on the 23rd of June, what this particular debate has shown us is that the fortunes of British football and those of Europe are closely entwined to one another.